Welcome to the Eater Man. Hello and welcome back. Testing good, that's in view. Good, good, good. That made life easier. This is a teardown of the BT Home Hub version 2. I don't own a version 1 and I'm not going to tear down our new router yet. Should be a few years before I have to tear that down. Or one day when I get bored and have run out of things to tear down. <laughs> so first you remove these and these are the only two screws you have to remove to get the case off. This thing once again went uh, horribly slow and shitting to connect. This thing was dropping out ridiculous rates where it would drop out a minimum of twice a day. And now of course, well... It, and then of course it would be like five days. Well, ridiculous. Like Sometimes one after the other. So now you just uh, remember how to do this. There we go. And off thy card comes. And you have the useless phone charging bit of it at the front. The various dual colour LEDs which consist of orange and blue for power, broadband, connection, wireless phone and upgrading. So here you have something under the shield. This is your modem input stuff here because your modem input is there. Right there where I'm shoving the screwdriver and then you've got the phone because you can also put your modem in there and have your phone coming out there. And of course your ethernet and of course it works in the same way as the router and it has a USB for some weird reason. <laughs> Not quite sure why I need USB. Now this side of the board is rather bare I thought when I first saw it. Thankfully on the other side there is stuff. However we have got what looks to be another flash chip here. This is an antenna, and this is like your transformer for the modem, another capacitor, a shield for something, not sure what for, some stuff probably to do with ethernet, is that a 23, what part number is that, no I do not recognise that part number, uh, that one, Uh, BGA chip. Uh, ATM, that could be a microcontroller, I'm not sure. That's just a guess because of her. You get the Atmel, could be an Atmel microcontroller, but can't confirm it because I don't know enough about microcontrollers and. only certain chips I actually recognise and then there's three screws holding this board in. Oh dear my nose. Yeah? Ugly dokes, hang on there's more dinner coming. Okay, I'm coming. with the door shut. Inherited from uni, but I've got puddings now, so for now I shall inherit and stop and eat. Right then, before I get involved in anything else, let's continue with this. I have now eaten my food. My mum should be a chef. <laughs> How she makes root of food fit enough for Michelin star restaurants, and I've eaten at Michelin star restaurants. Not many, but I have. <laughs> and so we pop the circuit board out. I don't remember it. Oh god, come on. Don't be stubborn, you're a bastard. There's another antenna. And so, uh, there's about three antennas in there. Unlike the previous router, you don't have the lovely removable bits, so you can't really reuse 
like this. It's all one throwaway unit. However, you've got the usual sort of stuff in modem electronics. Not so much a big power supply section, but it is there. USB interface. Networking stuff. And, of course, process. Most of the BT Home Hub seem... Well, the main chips seem to have been built by Broadcom. Such as this interface modem chip, or Ethernet chip, which is uh, probably another custom thing that controls all that, but it's... Broadcom, I know, do networking and stuff. And, of course, the processor. Which is a BCM6. 358KFB G and this is of course the shield for the wireless and there's also another shield here so there's more than one wireless module in this device which is kind of surprising actually I'm not sure why that is maybe it could be to do with supporting several standards and yet it doesn't actually support the standard that's compatible with the Netgear which was in the last teardown Still, nonetheless, interesting. You have your usual power supply section, your network section, your modem section, buttons for your reset. The reset button is probably the most pressed button. But it looks like this, the BT Ho Humps are made by Broadcom, and if we look on the stickers, for some weird reason, it doesn't say who makes them, because BT are not an electronics manufacturer. They have to get someone else to do it. Then it has admin passwords and that written on the bottom, but it doesn't really matter if you see them. To be frankly honest, because this is completely out of service and will not be going back into service. And of course it's a Rev 1 of the Home Hub 2. These aren't as versatile as the Netgear in configuration, they're very locked down. But however, with it being now off, out of service, I reckon it's a good opportunity to start trying to hack it. And of course there's your RAM. ROM's on the other side. There isn't much else I can say about it, so thanks for watching.